Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton in from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to remove a cell phone from a back pocket in Photoshop. But first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more content. My friend Jessica from Bark and Gold Photography recently sent me this beautiful silhouette shot. This is straight out of camera. And she noticed that there was a cell phone in the back pocket of the client. And she wondered what the best way was to get rid of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is press Command or Control J on my keyboard in order to duplicate the background layer. Next, I'm going to press M to select the marquee tool and I'm going to just click and drag over this area before taking it into the liquify filter. Now, why would I do that? Because you could absolutely go straight into that filter. This saves you processing time. If Photoshop has to render the entire canvas in the liquify filter, it will take forever. But if you make a smaller selection, it will work much faster in order to access that tool. You simply press Command Shift X, that's Control Shift X on the PC, in order to jump straight to liquify. Now what I'm going to do is start clicking and just pushing these pixels in order to get rid of the edge of that cell phone. And actually, I'm just clicking and dragging, pushing pixels, and it's working really, really well. Now, a couple of things about the liquify tool. Obviously, you have the size of your brush. You can make it larger or smaller, and you can also access that with your left and right bracket keys as usual. But I want you to pay particular attention to the density and the pressure. I have the pressure set to eight right now. Let's take this up really high. I'm going to click and push and drag. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when the pressure is too high. So I'm just going to undo that and bring that pressure back down really low. So typically I have this pressure set really low. Our density is about 50. If you bring the density up, you'll notice it's, it's similar, but it's a little bit different than pressure, but it has a similar result. I like to typically keep the pressure down to around 50. And you can see that we've eliminated that cell phone. I'm just going to press OK to return this result. Then a Command or Control D to deselect. And you can see the before and after. That's a pretty straightforward fix. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.